What's up? This is HG News here. So, we got a lot of severe weather in the U.S. This is about the flooding. There's a lot of flooding in the U.S. like um, Texas, Missouri. This is probably the worst since 1993, and I was too young to remember. But there is a tornado list for my area, Toronto, but I don't I have any doubt. I can keep looking on the Nat National Weather Service website, and there's n no notification. There's a risk. So, you know, it's just, they had this before, and they don't, they're not always correct, but who knows. So, I think we're going to have the four in a couple of days, so I won't be able to upload, so just excuse that. Just, if you want to keep watching the videos, you can. So, so yeah, I got to you know, I get packed up. I gotta get get some clothes out. I'm gonna have to clean the place up. I mean, we had a flash flood watch until it just expired, so it technically we're not gonna get flooding. But we have got a lot of rain over the days, too much. But you know, it's how it is. I mean, the U.S. has been crazy with flooding. The Mississippi River has been just combated with rain, un uh, ungodly amount. So yeah, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment and like below and click right around here below that and subscribe as well as push the bell notification button so you actually don't ever miss out like, on a video like this or any other videos I release. So yeah, it's I'm doing good lately. I got I think time I get back I'm paid so I, I'm going to take another I'm going to have to take like hundred plus or more out. Know, Put it down below because I gotta save up for our phone, so I gotta put like 200 or 150 or whatever until I actually get that out not mark or over a thousand because phones are really expensive now. They're technically, I, if the iPhone had the headphone jack, it would help a lot, but the new ones don't. So it's like, and mine recently had no sound for like an evening, a Saturday evening, and it, it works fine. I don't understand. Just one of those weird software bugs. It's old. It's an old phone. It doesn't have the latest specs to handle the latest OS. So it's really behind generations of hardware from Apple. So I mean, I'm surprised to still get updates for the phone, even if it's really outdated and it's several generations behind. It's iPhone 6 exactly. So yeah, it's really old. And I need a new one that's over and gonna be over a thousand dollars with taxes and all. And of course I would have to pay for the month, of course, fraud because you know it's a phone. As well as the activation, which is around fifty dollars or more or whatever it is. Plus the taxes, what's the case? And the phone I want is close to a thousand and a half dollars. You know, five hundred gigabytes. Of storage, but hopefully I can save up for it and get it. But I would have to have around seventeen hundred or more, a thousand eight hundred plus dollars just in case. Cause you never know. I mean, they put the tariff on the iPhone because the president rose the price ten percent, which does not help me trying to get a new phone that technically is dying and wants to be replaced. Cause it's telling me I need to be replaced. And you know. Currently, I don't even have the money for it, so, you know, and you is actually poor at the moment, <laughs> but whatever, I'll try to make it through, I mean, I only live by so much by a paycheck, you know, I get taxed quite a bit in the state, not only the highest tax state in the U.S., apparently, and they're about to get more taxes on us, so, it's not real fair, so I'm gonna probably, um, I had to get lunch eventually. I guess it's 11 a.m. in the morning. I was originally scheduled today, but they took me off because they were working me eight days straight. And they took me off. They ain't supposed to do that. So it's been like second, third time. So I, I picked up hours yesterday. It's going to probably be a little, it's probably going to be below 34 hours. It's 34, you have insurance and all, but it's like 12 weeks of that. So it's definitely not affected. Hopefully this doesn't continue. I know the outcome, but it's possible. Because, you know, your HG News guy is really good 
at predicting certain things. If I know this is going to really, it's, it's going to really happen a lot in the last couple of years, it's going to definitely happen. And a lot of people don't know this. I'm actually born left-handed, so I'm actually a mixed-handed child. I'm right hemisphere dominant, so I still write with the right hand, but I'm technically a left lefty for the brain part of it. <laughs> so that's where a lot of my speech comes from, and. I can read emotions if I can, I can tell someone's trying to hide something but trying to tell me in a way I can usually tell quite easily for sure you know by their looks or face because the ladies are really skilled at it, it seems like and we're more of a you know artist kind of person not with math or anything like that we really are horrible on algebra and a half, I never passed it. So you now we don't use that left hemisphere. I use some of, but mostly it's my right one being used. So I'm not good on math and you know things like that. But for more like video creation, it's better for that to be a left-handed person, but still using the right side of the body to do common tasks. It's what I always was good at. It just just born left-handed, and there's pictures of it over the decades of me looking like I was left-eyed and I can change the handness and it'll switch within like a day or so. So yeah, that's what they always tell me. Don't do it too much on your left side or your handness will switch and I don't want to be non-dominant. Quite clearly, it's true. So yeah, I freaked some people out at first at Walmart the first year or two. Yeah, it's, it's a weird dominant trait I got from my dad's family. I think my mom's has the same thing. In a way, I think Anna's a little better than me. My sister's a little more better version of it. She's really she can do it in a weekend for the fair. And mom can tell I have a picture for her left hand, left side of her body being shorter for the hands, and which mine is already like that and it's been like that for like a year or more. So it hasn't really changed how my hands are. I may be better at doing my left hand than certain things, but then the right hand's more like a skill like writing and things like that. So yeah, that's where I get a lot of my uh, brain skills and things like that. That's how I was born, so. I do have a cousin who was born left-handed as well. He's a little younger, but he couldn't switch to the right hand. So he's permanently a lefty. But I got either or. I can go either direction. It doesn't matter. So that's a good thing to know about about me to the my own subscribers that... <laughs> I'm not a regular person on this world. <laughs> one of the one percenters for handness. Truly ambidextrous dominance. So it's, it's a brain power, you say. But whatever. Thanks for watching.